KDE is a feature-rich desktop environment which allows you to customize it any way you like. And apart from the settings manager, there's another way to customize your desktop and that is by using font and themes. If you go to your system settings and then to the application style and then the widget style, you can see you have various options such as Breeze, Fusion, Oxygen, and others. However, we don't seek Phantom here. And so in order to be able to apply those types of themes, we first have to install the Phantom Manager. So in order to do this, there are multiple ways. I will be showing the easier method and there is actually a different method to install it and I will be posting the code of what you have to type in the terminal in the description and if you are using Arch for example it should be in the repositories so if you're using Ubuntu for example like in this video the first command that you should type in is the following and once you have that uh, written in then you update the repositories and then finally you run the final code so you run this and basically what this is is the adapt to KDE theme uh, however along with it it does install the quantum manager so once that's done you can exit out the terminal and when you go to the start menu and you type up the manager as you can see it appears so once you get this you can finally install your desired quantum themes so the place to get the quantum themes is the KDE store and I will leave also a link in the description and so you can check out whichever theme you like and once you click on it there's a download link right here on the right so once you've installed your desired quantum themes you can go ahead and select the folder and then apply them uh, so mine don't appear because I have to extract them so make sure that you extract the folders first so once you've extracted the folders then you can select them and then click install this theme and then at the bottom left corner it should said that it's installed And then that's basically it for the installation. So in order to apply these themes, there are different steps that you have to take. And so you can click change slash delete theme. And then right here, um, if you have installed it successfully, it should appear in this list. So you can select what you want. And if you notice, there are a lot of themes that are pre-installed. So even if you don't download a specific theme, you have a bunch of themes to choose from. So let's say I want to apply the Mojave Dark theme. I click on it and then I click use this theme. And as you can see, it already has applied on this application. But there is also something else that you must do. So uh, if you go to the system settings and application style, you can now choose whether you want Quantum or Quantum Dark. So I'm just going to go with Quantum and then apply. And there is another thing that you can do is if you go to colors, you can choose the colors, the default colors that it comes with. So now if we restart every application, as you can see the theme has now been successfully applied and there's more that you can do with it you can configure the active themes right here it has a bunch of settings you can take a look at them yourselves um, 
and you can exper experiment with them if you'd like and then there's also the applications theme um, that you can take a look at as well so if you want to apply a different theme let's say we try out the other theme we installed it's very easy to switch and I do recommend um, restarting the program because sometimes it does um, glitch out and then to showcase one of the default themes that it comes with so these themes are very nice they work very well um, and that's basically how you can uh, install and apply these themes and if you want to go back to the default themes without having to remove it you can just go back to system settings and then you can oh well another thing is that these themes aren't perfect so some of them may be glitched up and the reason for this is because um, I haven't changed the color scheme to what it should be so if you do see a, a glitch like that then make sure to change the color scheme um, but if you do want to um, use the original theme then you just go back to breeze or whatever else um, and then change the colors and everything else accordingly or if you want you can also remove it so that's basically that um, and yeah.